and welcome to Flagstaff TV. Today we are joined by Paul Smith, who is the Director of Institutional Research at WH Ireland. Paul, thank you very much for joining us today. Good afternoon. Paul, can you start by giving us an overview of Goldplatt as you see it? Okay, well Goldplatt's an interesting company. It's a gold producer, but not in a traditional sense. It processes materials created as a product of mining, so mill liners, grease, wood chips and things like that. It has two plants, one in South Africa and one in Ghana at the coast. And Ghana is where we see expansion as it creates an internal market for West Africa and acts as an import hub for South America. So Goldplatt focuses in gold and silver production, but is increasingly looking to produce more platinum group metals from wastes from the South Africans' many platinum group metal mines. The plants are flexible and complex. Does Goldplatt do anything groundbreaking? No, not really, but its plants are hard to replicate and we believe it can reprocess most precious, bearing, precious metal bearing waste. Its USP is its people and its plants. And it's for this reason, along with management's focus on capital, that is laying the groundwork for future success. Thank you, Paul. Now, you've recently written on Goldplatt and raised your target value to 19 pence per share. Can you tell us how you valued the company and what changed your opinion? Well, I've taken a good look at recent history and Goldblatt now has consistency. It makes one to one and a half million pounds per quarter gross profit from South Africa and up to about one million pound per quarter in Ghana, which is growing. We use this as the basis for our current year forecast. We add in allowance for its ownership of Caracal Gold and net cash and arrive at our fair value. And Goldblatt looks cheap on these metrics. So we use a three and a half times EV EBITDA multiplier. This is conservative against London listed gold producers tailings retreaters and service companies to the mining industry. But a word on Caracal. By selling its gold mine in Kenya, Goldplatt can now focus on its core business, which is gold recovery. Any upsides from the Kilimapasa gold mine can be achieved through its ownership in Caracal. Where do you see Goldplatt going in the future? Looking forward, more of the same, please. We expect more contracts from South America, uh, an ease of material movement in West Africa as Goldplatt educates uh, the import and export uh, market in the area, the retreatment of its old shalings in South Africa, more platinum group metal uh, mine waste retreatment, and potentially gold plat paying a small dividend. Perhaps most importantly, we expect consistent performance in South Africa and Ghana, and it's this performance which will underline any market appreciation in the company. In short, Gold Run is well run and profitable. Paul, thank you very much. For your insights there and for your time today. Thanks Catherine. And thank you for watching Blackstaff TV.